Hamas assault on Israel shows surprise still possible in AI era. Hamas fighters launched the largest surprise attack on Israel since the 1973 Yom Kippur War. Israeli officials took the chair of NATO's military committee to the Gaza border to demonstrate their use of artificial intelligence and high-tech surveillance. Israeli officials publicly spoke of using such technology in their last major war in Gaza in 2021, and both its best AI and latest drones are doubtless again helping select and destroy targets in the territory. The failure of those systems to deliver advanced warning of Saturday's Hamas attack, however, represents a failure of intelligence likely to be studied and discussed for years. The scale of events over the weekend is still only just becoming clear, thousands of Palestinians killed in retaliatory strikes on Gaza. Multiple forward Israeli military positions and communities near Gaza were overrun, in many cases apparently with no or little warning, while the scale of Hamas missile launches at times overwhelmed Israel's sophisticated Iron Dome defenses. There will have been warning signs, one former Western intelligence official said on condition of anonymity. Clearly, Hamas were able to do this without leaving a data trail, or the clues were there but not interpreted from the data. From drones overhead utilizing face recognition software to border checkpoints and electronic eavesdropping on communications, Israeli surveillance of Gaza is widely viewed amongst the most intense and sophisticated efforts anywhere. According to a NATO statement, Dutch Admiral Robert Bauer was visiting Israel last month in part to learn from the expertise of Israel's nearby Gaza division and seek out innovative military capabilities. In May, Israeli Defense Ministry Director General Ayel Zamir said the country was on the brink of becoming an artificial intelligence superpower, using such techniques to streamline decision-making and analysis. Events this weekend suggest Israeli authorities were already becoming overconfident in those abilities. That may be a warning for other governments, increasingly turning to a range of artificial intelligence contractors who promise to be able to deliver incisive analysis and early warning. Such techniques can prove invaluable for synthesizing huge volumes of data, particularly in technical areas such as sonar or radar. But they are only as good as their sources of material and human activity in a congested urban environment like Gaza is rarely simple to interpret. Israel's ongoing air and perhaps coming ground offensive into Gaza will be seen as a chance to avenge the attack but also reassert the reputation of the Israeli security state and high-tech industry that supports it while Israeli officials argue that any resultant civilian casualties remain the fault of Hamas.